fast. So aggressive, so clean, so smooth. Let's see what we see. Change for this uh, next match. Are we gonna have the Ryu change? No, yeah, we're gonna stick with the Ken. We're gonna see what he can do in order to uh, potentially take game number two. Because that first game was a pretty dominant blowout. A minute 30 seconds to take all three stocks. Insane play there. All right, we do see a couple of good hits there from Brosinex to start out this game. 54%, but now let's see how Foken respond, and he does so in kind of a little bit of yo-yo, and is able to keep the pressure going, and gets the jab, into, or gets the down tilt into the grab. Doesn't get the hit from that, uh, from that PK Thunder, allows Brosinex to have a little bit of a reprieve. All right, forward air comes out, heaves Brosinex on the ropes. that sure you can hits but doesn't take the stock 85 percent okay fire coming out got an even game pretty much in percentages oh and prosex tries to get the sure you can to hit foe probably on the bottom of the stage but unfortunately not being able to do that as they both take it back from that depth at 138, 131%, or 138 and 131% respectively, Brosnex will lose his dog to that smart PK Thunder. And the Shoryuken will finally take the stock as we have an even game, folks. and Foe just utilizing those aerials to his advantage because, well, Brosnex probably has the advantage when both players are, are on neutral footing on the stage. The aerials from Foe were just so fast and so strong that it's, it's very difficult, I think, for, for Brosnex to really find a way in after Foe uses them. They're usually pretty safe. I does get the grab, 71%. Bo does have Brosinex at around 120%. Gonna opt to go for the fourth throw because he knows the back throw won't take it just yet. Now at this point, I think that it will. Ooh, that Shoryuken very close to taking it, but 85%, not enough. Definitely a slower game. Brosinex taking his time before going in as he now has Bo on the ropes, using a little bit of that side mag didn't to get that sure you can to bring it back and that was a smart play it was probably the smartest play that rose next to do right there using his down b to dodge the hit of the headbutt and then slow the momentum of foe so that he wasn't able to hit, snap the ledge and make it back and will take his first lead of the set but only for a moment as foe finally gets the back throw to take stock number two Trying to go for a couple of barrels of his own, trying to get some damage in. Able to get a little bit in, but Fo trying to keep a string going and gets a weak hit of that headbutt. Shield looking very low on Fo right there. Wow, that dash attack went had such a long range and then Foe was able to seal the deal with that up air after being after uh, after Brosnex was launched up in the air. So smart play by him, smart reading the uh, air, the lack of air dodge from Brosnex as we move on to game number three, potentially the last game of Brosnex's winner's run here. He's done so very well coming up to this. Let's see what he's able to do in order to uh, potentially bring us to a game number four.
We're gonna go back to Smashville for game number three. Probably the most consistent move. Shout out to Dr. Pepper, Bros and Eggs drinking that. Good, good drink choice tonight. We're gonna stick with the Ken and Ness here. As game number three rolls around, let's see if a change in stage will have any difference in the outcome as Brosinex has to take this game if he wants to continue his winner's run. And I believe that he can do it. He has the potential to make it happen. He has shown that he can take stocks and potentially take games off of Foe, but right now, Foe's really feeling himself and is just reacting to every move that Brosinex is doing. Gets a couple of hits in, keeps the percentages the same. Gets a couple of good hits in, but doesn't get the spike hit on that aerial right there. As Foe gets a couple of forward airs to put Prosnex at around 89%. Yo Yo coming out, goes for the VK flash right there, but doesn't get anything from it. Actually gets punished for using it. As the back air from Foe comes out and puts Prosnex. And Foe now in a pretty neutral ish situation, but that aerial from Foe will end the stock and take Foe, or will put Foe in the lead. All right there. Uh, Brosnex being able to get a couple jabs, taking the first stock of Foe and evening out the stock scores. But Foe trying to go for it all with that hit. But unfortunately, SD's had he probably stopped with that PK Thunder. I don't know if Brosnex would have been able to make it back. Gets two PK fire hits. Now has Brosnex at 108%, and then the back air will seal the deal and will take the stock. And now we have an even game again. So smart using that side magnet and the hitbox that he has to start a combo right there. Brosnex at 48%. Gets the back air into the PK fire. Tried to go for the spike, but Foe was able to take the hit that he got hit by that Juryuken right there. 50% on Foe's final stock as well. As now Brosnex is at 111%, has to be very careful not to uh, get hit by pretty much anything. Is now at 128, back throw will take the stock. All right, Nair coming out, 139%. PK Thunder getting a little bit more hit right there and just enough for Foe to feel confident to get that back throw out and will take game number three, a decisive 3-0 sweep over Brosinex, who made it very far in bracket, but unfortunately wasn't able to pull it out in the end. And will have to beat the winner of the winner's sem or the loser semis match that we're about to play. Really? No. Is uh, loser semis? Wow.